Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. talk about game changer i am indeed all right i want you guys to stay with me because i'm going to be giving away a copy or two at the end of my conversation with david david tell me give me a just a synopsis about game changer i don't like to ruin it for the reader i studied 450 people who have done amazing things in their lives people who have won nobel prizes navy seals people who have done big charitable works who've had a big impact on the world and I said, what are the three most important things that mattered most for you to get here, for you to perform better at everything you do? And statistically analyze the answers to make the cheat sheet for the rest of us so that you can read Game Changers and you can realize instead of following what one guru says or sort of figuring it out for yourself, what if you got advice from people who've already done it, not just one, but what they all agreed on and you did that first, you just get such a higher return on your efforts. And Game Changers is that okay. study. Okay, so you did probably over 450 interviews to bring us, to kind of give us the synopsis version of this information. And I need to mention your book is a New York Times bestseller also, correct? Uh, this book hasn't hit the New York Times yet, but my last two books have, and they introduced the field of biohacking to the world. So Game Changers is the next level. When you have your energy, when you've lost 100 pounds the way I have, when your biology is working right, what are you going to do with that energy? Or if you don't have that energy, what are you going to do to turn that back on so that you can do what you're here to do? And sometimes it's just be a parent. It's provide for your family. But can you do it with excellence, without struggle, without pain, so that it feels good, it feels easy? Well, let's do what the big dogs did, and let's not have to just learn, learn all by ourselves. Let's get help. What okay, this has done the subtitle. Go ahead. What this has done for me is it's made it fun and easy and happy to start Bulletproof at the same time I'm writing Game Changers, the same time I'm hosting Bulletproof Radio. I've had 100 million downloads of my podcast, which is the data source for this book. Okay. The subtitle is What Leaders, Innovators, and Masks Do to Win at Life. Okay, David. Okay. Life's going pretty good for you. And I'm going to assume Game Changers had a lot to do with that. What are some of the things that my, my listening audience, which is uh, uh, aggregated somewhere 5.4 million people that wow. listen to the Val TV show, what is something they can walk away from this conversation and say, wow, I can do that? There are three big things that these people have learned. And they do things to be smarter, faster, and happier. And I'd like to offer this one thing, and it's learn the power of no, especially the holidays. What they've learned to do is to say, you know what, if I'm not good at something and I've, I've tried it enough to know, I'm just going to focus on the stuff I'm really good at and I'm going to intentionally say no. So if you don't want to go to that holiday party, don't go. If you don't like doing something, don't do it and do the things that you love and you'll be happy and happy makes you successful at all the other things you want to do, including being a breadwinner. I like that, the power no, that's a great one. But what if that no limits you from learning something new? How do you determine when you should say yes then? One of the things that's borne out in this book, in Game Changers, is that fear is what's holding us back. So I asked these leaders, how did you learn to overcome the critics? How did you learn to overcome fear? And what you find when you read those laws is it teaches you how to do that. And when you get rid of the fear that's in that voice in your head, it becomes really easy. When you do this thing, you feel great and, and it flows. And when you do this other thing, you're always pushing and you're never good at it. And your teachers yelled at you for it. So you thought you had to do it even more. It was a lie. What you want to do is say, I did it enough to know that I don't like it. I'm going to do the things that I love 
and maybe some things that I just don't hate. And when you do that, you know, and you know at your core. And when that turns on happiness, one of the other laws in Game Changers is that wealth is a symptom of happiness. Having money and power was never a goal for any, even one of these people I interviewed. But when they got dialed in on learning how to be happy, then they became wealthy, then they became successful. So you focus on happiness as a tool to be who you want to be in the world. Who are some of these game changers that you had the opportunity to hear from? Nick Foles, the MVP Super Bowl champion, was one of them. Navy SEALs, uh, Lieutenant Colonel uh, Mark Devine, and Nobel Prize winners, and many others between professional athletes as well as people who've done massive charitable endeavors around the world. Peter Diamandis, the guy who launched the X Prize for private exploration of space, people who've literally changed the world. I wanted to know, how did you get this? When you wake up every day, does what you have learned those previous days, does it allow you to continue to be a game changer? Or is it something you have to remember? Or does it become an, an innate part of you? When you read Game Changers, it teaches you the habits that people do in the morning and every single day. So they become built in. And once you do this, you don't have to keep focusing on it every day. Now you know what to do. You try it once, and the return is so high. Like, I think I'll do that again, and it becomes natural. Now that you have written Game Changers, now that you are living Game Changers, what do you wish you would have known prior to this? <laughs> Game Changers is the book I wish someone had given to me when I was 18 years old. If I'd have had these things in my life, the amount of suffering, pain, and struggle that I have gone through would have been radically reduced. And the idea is no matter where you are in life, you're probably doing a bunch of things that haven't worked very well, but you don't know what to do next. I was there, so the idea was what if I could ask a Nobel Prize winner how that happened? If I could ask someone who's gone out there and written multiple books, I could ask Jack Canfield, I could ask Tony Robbins, I actually did do that. And, well, when you can pick their brains, it's an amazing gift. But to be able to boil that down and say, look, here's what to do. This is going to save you time. That's why Game Changers is so important. Well, it's just inspiring listening to you. Uh, you have a, a quality in your voice. You sound authentic in what you are bringing forth. And I can pretty much tell when people are authentic and you sound authentic, like you are actually living this, you know this. So Game Changers, to me, is something I want to give away to someone out there who's listening. You need a change in your life, probably. And Game Changers may be the path for you. So if you go to my Facebook page and you see the icon for the book, Game Changers by David Asprey, I, if you like it and share it, I will send a copy to someone that really needs a game change in their life from the book Game Changers. David, if there's one thing you want my audience to know before you leave us, what do you want them to know? I want you to know that you have control of your own biology. If it feels like you don't have enough energy, it feels like your body isn't doing what you want, it's aging, you're fat, whatever it is, you have control. You can do that. Great advice. I'd love to see you, what you're going to do next. This is a game changer, David. I'll be watching your book on the New York Times bestseller list. Go up, up the list, and I'll be waiting for your next foray into the world. Thank you for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. Thank you, Valder. <laughs>